the start of GTA San Andreas, so you cannot hate on it one bit. It is all time good game. I promise I'm not lying. It's it. I'm gonna be honest, it's an okay game. We're not gonna say it's the best. But anyway, today's challenge, or today what we are doing, is we're going to be trying to defeat GTA San Andreas, but only with a pistol. So we started out going into CJ's house, reminded of all the failures he was as a child. This piece of shit had no life goals, no nothing, was an absolute idiot as a child. But uh, that, that slowly started to turn around when he had his flashbacks. After he was done moping about his mother, he decided to sit down on a, a, on a chair. He saw the perfect chair, went for it and decided it would be okay to make as much noise as possible before some fat man came around the corner with a baseball bat. But he didn't know that. He didn't know that at all. What's gonna happen next? I have no idea. Maybe the fat man. Who knows? Predict the future, you know? Oh shit, there was a fat man with a baseball bat. But luckily, they know each other. And you can listen to this. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do that to you. But it was only worth it. So anyway, we decided to look like badasses while walking down the street a couple of minutes later, getting on bikes, seeing Big Smoke do a wheelie, going down a pack of staircases to find out that Ryder was being a complete idiot and going back up the stairs even though we were supposed to be going down the stairs, causing me to lose Ryder. Eventually we had to turn around because Ryder got too far away because he's an idiot and he decided to go back up the stairs. I hate Ryder. Things are going to change from now on for the better. Ryder is now my worst enemy, and it'll remain my worst enemy. I decided to go up the stairs to see what the fuck was wrong with Ryder, and I got up there and he was stuck on a fucking wall like a dumbass. I decided that this was bullshit, and then finally decided Ryder had enough of my shit and decided to leave. While running around in the streets of Los Santos, I decided, or sorry, San Andreas, I saw a bar, and decided I hated everyone here because drinking is bad and you shouldn't do it. So I started walking around punching as many beer bottles as possible, you know, knowing me, I, I'm gonna punch as many beer bottles as possible because drinking's bad. So I decided to start punching the cider, this beer bottle, another beer bottle, and while walking around I decided to go over here to see, you know, if there was any more bottles to break, and I found video games. Yes, video games in GTA San Andreas, oh my gosh. So anyway, I was playing and I fucking died once and then I died again before making the funny ass pun, uh, pun that anyone does with the older school consoles and decided to write my name as something really funny. So I decided to set the first letter as A, second letter as a big whopping S, you know, as usual. And uh, you can guess the last letter. After that, I thought it was pretty funny. I turned around and was going to exit the game, but first I wanted to check my high score to see if it was worth it, and it totally was. So I just found another game, and uh, we're not going to do a life story on that game, we're just going to continue from here. I got mad because I died at the game and started punching the machines. Then I got back on the topic of uh, punching more beer bottles because no one needs to be drinking. I was having fun until I came across this bottle right here. This bottle, this undestructible bottle, I've tried going over the counter, I've tried everything. I punched the rest of the bottles and I couldn't make it over the counter but eventually I did figure out how to go over the counter but we're not going to get to that now. We tried a shovel and then we decided to progress through the story to see if we could get a gun for that stupid ass beer bottle that didn't we want. We didn't want it anymore. That stupid ass beer bottle has beaten us no more. We got the gun, went to the shop, left the shop, and the lady was very horny with me. So I decided I was going to run up and shoot her because she was, you know, no, no horny here. I came back, looked at the bottle straight in the face, shot it. Pulled out my shovel, went back about the counter to destroy these bottles and decided that was it. Big Smoke told me to get beers. I was offended. It was time. We need to react. We need to kill Big Smoke. No beers in this city. We're not allowed to have those. What is wrong with you, Big Smoke? This is bullshit. Why would you ever give me a beer? This is bull. We will have our vengeance, Big Smoke, and you know it. You know it very well. So anyway, I got tired of playing the game after two hours, went inside my house, and decided I was going to save my game. Looking at the giant GTA San Andreas logo on this disc right here, saving my game, and continuing from there. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I'm not playing the expanded and enhanced version of this game. I'm sorry, but I don't want to. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.